All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, what we're talking about is we are talking about TSOY, preferably is TSOY, the Yield Max Tesla Option Income Strategy ETF, 60% yielding a scam. Is it a scam? I don't think so. But today what we're going to be doing is doing a little reaction to Mr. Ethan Galstad's video. Just because he made a little video very recently, he said, is TSOY a scam or a good investment? And in this video, he basically states how he doesn't think TSOY is a scam, but he does think there are better investments out there than TSOY, which I do actually agree, even though he was taking some shots, you know, obviously at TSOY and at Clip, another investment that I hold, but rightfully so due to their somewhat lack of performance in certain areas. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to talk about TSOY, why I don't think it's a scam at all, but why I do think that the fund could be performing better and there's certain reasons to why TSOY is not. And I'm also going to show you a couple funds which have been performing very well, as I'm sure you guys are aware and why that is. So in this video, we will talk about that. I hope you guys do subscribe. We're up to 3,749 subscribers, very close to that 3,750 subscriber marker. We are so close. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's made that possible. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So we're talking about TSOY. Is it a scam? 60% dividend yield. Let's get into it. I do not think TSOY is a scam. Any of the yield max funds, I don't think they are a scam. Obviously, I've held TSOY for the past probably about eight months or so. I've been holding it for a very long time. I'm down currently about 15% on my position, but I have been receiving a lot in dividends back and I've also been reinvesting those dividends. Although it says that I'm down 15%, I've been receiving a 60% dividend. And in the video by Ethan Galstad, he mentioned that people might be breaking even or just barely profitable. And I am probably in the just barely profitable category with TSOY. And with the reinvestment every single month, my profits increase with compound interest and obviously the 60% dividend that yield max <clears throat> pays out through TSOY. But he is right. TSOY is a little bit underperforming. I find the stock Tesla, although I do like Tesla and I love the fact that I'm able to somewhat invest in the price returns of Tesla while receiving a dividend. That is the whole purpose behind buying TSOY. I want to invest in Tesla, but I want to have a dividend yield. Of course, TSOY does a synthetic cover call strategy, so they don't invest directly in Tesla, but they are invested in the price returns. But Tesla is a very volatile stock, and I do think that is it is a little bit too volatile for the strategy. And that's why if you guys have noticed for the past little while, I've been stuck at 100 shares. And sure, I do reinvest my dividends, but I've been holding back on TSOY by adding any more big buys in TSOY just due to the fact that I do think that the underlying stock Tesla is a little bit too volatile for a yield max ETF. And I do think that it does in fact hinder the NAV erosion over time and really caused TSOY share price to go down quite a bit. That is kind of my whole purpose on why I've been holding back on TSOY. I don't think it's a scam. TSOY is not a scam. The yield max funds are not a scam, but I do think that the strategy could work better in different funds other than Tesla. Now I do continue to hold my yield max position in TSOY. Obviously I'm receiving a lot of money in dividends every single month, which is fantastic. I will continue to reinvest and lower this average share price and receive more dividends by doing so. So that's kind of what my stance is on TSLY, but I do think it's a little bit too volatile for the strategy. Now moving to some other funds, we have SQY and we have Kony. These are two funds that have actually been doing pretty well. I did actually buy about 10 shares of SQY very recently, and it pays about 100% dividend yield, so definitely not anything to shy away from. Kony, I have about four shares or so, and Kony has done very well. Obviously, this is due to the massive share price appreciation in Coinbase, the underlying stock. Now, going back to Tesla, if Tesla was able to have this run where it went from its current marker at about 250 or so where, where we're at 260 to about $400, we could see potential dividends and returns like Kony. But the thing is, it has to have that run up. Tesla has to have that run up. And if we do see a run up like that in Tesla, we will see a massive increase in the share price of Tesla and also the dividend yield. So that's something to keep in mind if you are bullish long-term Tesla. 
I am bullish long-term Tesla. I actually do want a Tesla car and I like what they're doing. And so I have no problem investing in the yield max version and holding my position because I think long-term they're going to be fine. It's just the massive downturns that they do have where they decrease in share price value very quickly that I do think hinders the yield max version TSOY. But nonetheless, I've actually picked up some new stock in SQY, the 10 shares that I bought, and obviously I have the four shares of Kony. And in these two funds, you're basically looking at underlying stocks that have performed very well over the past little while, maybe two, three months. You have Square going from $40 all the way up to $80, a double in price. And you have Kony as well going from roughly about $70, $80 to $180, more than 100% in appreciation. So that is the reason for obviously the amazing yield max returns in these two funds and the extremely high dividends that they are paying at 100 or even above 100 yields. I do think that the best yield max fund currently is probably going to be Square. And the reason I say that is because it still has a great amount of room in the underlying stock in order to appreciate. It's at a very interesting marker where it could appreciate through this $83 marker and go on a pretty big bull run. It pays a great dividend, it does pay a much higher dividend than TSOY, to be honest. And I do think that is the best place to put your money if you're looking for a yield max fund. Obviously, it's not financial advice. I do not recommend any of that. But Kony, I feel, is also appreciated very well. But we might be seeing a little bit of a current peak with the share price of Kony and Coinbase. So it's something to watch out for. Whereas Square could potentially be on the up and coming. Now that is kind of my stance on TSOY. I don't think it's a scam, but I do think there are other better yield max funds to currently be investing your money into. So it's also a good idea not to just look at TSOY, but look and check out the other high income yield max funds that are available on the market currently. They have a bunch of different funds as well. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video kind of analyzing or giving you my thoughts on any of these funds. I could definitely make that happen. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, got some thoughts on some yield max funds and what I think might be the one to watch out for. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it served you well. Please do remember to subscribe at 3,749 subscribers. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.